Hey, what's up? It's Gabe with Nerd Tech, and I wanted to make a quick video on using Air AI for calling, but how in the world can we send a voicemail? Because Air AI is not natively able to send voicemails, so we use GHL, go high level. Um, I have a white label Nerd Tech uh, GHL account, so I do everything. All of my Air AI calling is done through GHL because I can combine so many more automations to do uh, endless possible uh, things with the AI calling and, and anything I want to happen before or after or in between. So um, right now, I just wanted to show you how can we drop a voicemail in a, some sort of systematic way. Um, one thing to keep in mind, and I'm going to say it more as we go through this video, is Air AI does not know if a call is not answered. We can only know if a call is answered based on the post outcome called data webhook that we connect to air. So when we set this up, we basically have to say, we're going to wait 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes, whatever time you deem long enough. And if we've waited and that webhook has not fired, which means a call has been answered, then we're going to leave a voicemail. So what that would look like is this is my call trigger. So this is a simple uh, demo uh, workflow I have set up for triggering calls. I have it set up so that I can add a tag and it triggers a call. And then um, I always like to put in an if else statement for checking to make sure it's not on the DNC list. And then we put it in drip mode, 25 calls per minute. And then I have it set up to trigger the call from air so this is connected to my script this is going to make the phone call so then after the phone call we actually have a math operation uh, and this is a custom field i have set up in the contacts and go high level that counts the call attempts so that way i can keep track of every time i've tried to call this person so then what we do if we want to set a voicemail up is we do another wait so we're going to use the wait action and we'll say wait 15 minutes Wait eight minutes. We'd set that up. And then after waiting 15 minutes, we would do voicemail. And then all we got to simply do is go and upload a voicemail from our computer and put that uh, file in there. And then it's going to drop a voicemail. Now, if they do answer within that 15 minutes, you don't want to drop in this voicemail. So if this was AI cold call trigger, what we'd do is we'd go over to our uh, post outcome called data. So this is how we know if a call is answered, this one gets triggered. So if a call is answered, it comes through our post outcome co come called data. If you don't understand all this, I have another video in my YouTube channel that goes over how I set up my post outcome called data. But anyways, whenever uh, we get down here, when it's doing the main call, again, we do a tag um, I like to verify all my calls, so we're going to put a tag that says we're going to verify the call. We're going to do an app op math operation for call pickups. So now we're counting. We've already counted the call attempts. Now we're going to count call pickups, and we're going to also uh, turn the duration, which comes across in seconds. We're going to divide that by 60, convert it to minutes, and put that in a custom field also. So right here where we're doing all the main things, when a call is answered, we're going to add in a remove from workflow remove from workflow, another workflow, and it would be this one, the demo one was the AI cold call trigger. I would put that in there and then it would look like that right there. So if a call's answered, it's actually gonna remove it from that other call workflow, what is waiting for 15 minutes to see if the call has been answered. As soon as that's removed, it's going to remove it completely. It's not going to wait anymore. It's not going to drop the voicemail. It's going to take it out of there. It's going to totally stop it. So this one, when the call's answered, will now remove it out of that other workflow. That's how you set up the voicemails to trigger and then make sure uh, to set it up so that if the call's answered, it doesn't leave the voicemail. Hopefully in the future, they'll come out with some sort of webhook where we can actually know right off the bat if the call was answered or not. That would be really, really nice. Uh, another thing that's going to kind of screw this up is occasionally it will talk with voicemails or other AI machines. Uh, and so it's not a true call answer, but it's still going to trigger this. So it's going to take it out of that workflow and it's not going to leave a voicemail. So you, 
that's another reason why it's just imperfect. I always add the tag AI call needs verified. I create a smart list in GHL. When a call is answered, it gets this tag, it puts it in a bucket, and I have an assistant answer all those or look through all those calls, listen to the recordings, and make sure the tags are correct. And if they're incorrect, then she puts the correct tag on there. So uh, that's how I would set it up. hope it helps. And uh, if you have questions on any of this other stuff you see here, I have videos on all of it. Just go to my YouTube channel, and, uh, and I have playlists called Air AI Tutorials, Air AI Demos. Go to the Tutorials playlist, and you'll be able to see a whole bunch of other videos on how I set this stuff up.